song of the chaffinch. You know, this lively little bird was at one time one of the commonest British wild birds, but since the severe winter of 1946 and later bitter winters, its numbers were rather drastically reduced. Happily, it's slowly on the way back to becoming almost common again. Now, you know, the male chaffinch differs from his mate, being beautifully marked. He's got a, a lovely black forehead, blue-gray crown and nape, chestnut red breast fading into white on the lower parts. His wings are black and have two prominent white bars which show off very well when the chaffinch is flying. The outer tail feathers too are white and like the wing bars are very prominent in flight. But the female chaffinch, well she is nowhere near as handsome as her mate. She is a sort of ashy grey and olive yellow. But mind you there's no mistaking her for any other bird than a chaffinch. She like her mate has a delightful little walk rather like a colourful little pigeon, you know, with the head moving backwards and forwards in the most engaging manner. Well, the flight is typical of the finches. A few wing beats, then the wings are closed for a second, then the wings beat again, and the result is that bounding up and down. But there's no wild bird song that is so easy to remember. From February until early July, the male bird sings a rocking little song with great gusto, and it ends very abruptly. Songs a minute sometimes a chaffinch will get through. You know, one of the charms of this bird song is a great master of One bird that I used to know would end its song with a note that sounded exactly like the word dictionary. This is 